Welcome back to the Helitech International show floor where I'm delighted to be joined by Jeremy Miles from GP Strategies. Jeremy, how are you doing, sir? Very good. I'm very good. How are you? I'm, I'm, I'm well. I'm having a cracking time here, as I hope are you. Very good, yeah. Good. Right. First things first, GP Strategies. Tell me about GP Strategies. Okay, so uh, we essentially support whole of life maintenance reliability programs in, in, in this case where we're here is in the aerospace industry. Um, our specialisms are in technical publications and in workforce training. Now what we're doing here is we're bringing those together and linking them with the latest generation of interactive technologies. Interactive technologies such as, I mean I can see an Xbox controller over here, I can see some very interesting stuff happening just behind us there. Talk me through some of this interesting interactive technology you're talking about. Okay, so typically with technical publications, you will have a set of manual documentation. It might not be particularly well organized. It might be assembled from a whole suite of OEMs. So our, our forte has been pulling that together as a set of, of integrated publications. What we've been doing recently is looking at uh, the new technologies. In this case, we're looking at augmented reality. So you can actually take your, your printed documentation, in this case it's a statement of work, um, a standard operating procedure, and we have the 3D models, we'll build a lot of the 3D models, and we'll integrate the two together. So increasingly, operators, maintenance staff are being issued with tablets, with mobile devices, so they can go out and they will, we're giving the opportunity to reference all the material needed to do their job, enhanced by immersive digital um, technologies. Let's, let's have a bit of hands-on here because what you can see on a big screen in the background is actually coming from, I guess it's coming via this iPad just here. We've got the camera pointing here. Now, the application on here knows what's on the page and it knows that if I move this bit of paper around, it can track. So this is augmented reality. We're seeing real life things happening here, but we're augmenting it with some digital information. And, I mean, technical manuals are one thing, can be a little bit, not everyone responds to, you know, just, just, just reading stuff and looking at images. When you bring it to life like this, it opens it up for a whole different audience potentially and, and gives people different ways of understanding that and interacting with it, doesn't it? Absolutely, and it's, bo it's both in training, so here we're providing the visual approach to maintenance of wheel housing, but it's also for maintenance as well. So we're also looking at, at positional technologies. We've got on the wall a couple of beacons, which means that you can be wandering around a large plant. If you have stock in one area, the beacons will sense your position and then supply you with the information on your tablet that's just relevant to that particular pallet of, of parts or component on the engine. So what this is... And we've also got a virtual reality where we're d we design simulations. Where, where we're really seeing success is a lot of the 3D models for the engines, the components, we have available. And we can then incorporate them into a VR environment so that we can actually... It's a bit like medical endoscopy. It's allowing people to, to, to go inside the, uh, the, the, the components and actually play on a simulated environment, bringing you close to that on-the-job experience. So it's before they get into the workshop or the service bay, so that they are up to speed in as, as, uh, with, uh, in as a realistic environment as we can make it. Of course, simulation plays a huge part in many engineering environments, but particularly when it comes to uh, aeronautics. Why should pilots have all the fun on simulators? Why can't engineers have a bit of fun as well? Absolutely, this is exactly it. And one of the big areas in terms of maintenance, especially with, with fixed wing, is um, on-wing care. So if you've got to take an engine off the wing, that's very expensive. And one of the tools is the boroscope. Again, just like medical simulation, so now we can create a virtual environment and using boroscope technology, we can get the maintenance engineer to send their virtual boroscope in, inspect the turbine blades, repair the damage, and that is as close as you can get to working on what is a very expensive engine in a training environment. Good stuff. Thank you very much indeed. Um, how has Helitech International been for you so far, Jeremy? It's been good. It's been interesting. What's been interesting is because we're bringing a new take to a fairly conventional area of training and, and publications, things like just showing what can be done with augmented realities, virtual realities, is just getting people thinking slightly differently about an area that they'd taken for as read because nothing's really changed. So what we're really beginning to notice is 
the technologies, and these are accessible technologies. So we're talking project developments in tens of thousands of pounds as opposed to hundreds of thousands of pounds for the big top end simulations. As you're saying, why do pilots, why should pilots get all the simulation fun? We focus on the engineers, the technicians, and bring that same experience um, to make it accessible to them. And you've been having good conversations. It's been worthwhile you being here at the event. Absolutely. It's raising our profile, which is what it's all about. That's great. Well, listen, thank you so much for showing us around some of your pervasive technologies, a bit of augmented reality, a bit of virtual reality, and, of course, some iBeacon technology as well. We love seeing that stuff here. So, uh, Jeremy, thank you very much indeed. Pleasure. Nice to meet you.